Welcome back, everybody, once again to Super Metroid Z Factor. As you can see, I am getting places in Norfair. Went around and explored a lot, recorded a really long video last time, so. What else do we have in here? It's just the other door, so. Before I go jumping through that bubble tunnel, or whatever it is. We will go look at this stuff, just in case. And I can use stuff. You never know when more health might come in handy. I had a close call, so that was stupid. Now I'm back where I was. Except more missiles, I guess. It's better. More 20s would be nice. And I actually kind of prefer when the totals the pickups give you are changed. It may be just the way I, I like to play. That way I can do stupid stuff like run across spikes. But like I have the big energy, give me 30. The small energy, give me 10. And like the missile pickups give you 5. That way you don't, you're not as long refilling at like bug stations or anything like that speeds it up a little without changing too much and there's something back here that reminds me of the exit to Lower Norfair in the original so that didn't look like the exit to Lower Norfair in this one I will say that right now I am seriously doubting that so, I guess nothing that way. We're going this way. Oh, jeez. You blasted creature. Okay, so, back through Bubble Land. Find more bubbles, hopefully, and continue advancing in this hack. Still going pretty good, I think. So what do we have out? Why is... Why? Why? If those gates are there, why is this here? Oh, missile gate. What in the world? Why is there nothing here? That's interesting. I I don't know what to say about that. That's a little bit weird. Ow. This looks like speed boost stuff. It's just a random guess. I mean... Oh, hey. Something I can do. So what do we have hiding back here? Oh, hi there. Don't throw your lava at me. Or whatever that is. Uh, rippers, rippers, rippers. Doors. Another door. You know what? Let's check this one out. Before I bother going up there. Why do you have two doors to the here? And I'm on the other side of the silly missile gate. And these bugs are nice. See, these bugs are dropping 20s more often, which helps. So why are... Ouch. There are two missile gate, Two missile gates. Two doors in that missile gate there. That's... This room, I guess, kind of... With the two doors... I guess if you go up the top door and fall, you have a door back out. It's not. I guess that's probably why that's there. So that way, if you fall, no big deal. You can always get back. Why is... What are you here for? Ouch. 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 Stop. Ow. 
that was brilliant. I'm gonna walk right into it. So, this room is weird. I am not sure about this. No, it's so weird. Why is... Oh! I think I get it. If... Yes, I think I actually get it. I believe that platform is actually how you're supposed to get back to the previous room before that. You open the missile gate. This is... Why is this tube here? But you open the missile gate, you get rid of the blocks, open the other gate. Although you kind of need wave beam to get through, but you open those and the platform can get through and you can ride it out to the other door. Hey there, whatchamacallits. Don't shoot your fire spit at me. I would imagine that would give you a case of a really bad sore throat there. And stay away. You, stay. There's something in here. Yes, there is. There is stuff in here. Oh, hey, I can just shoot this stuff. Ow. Why are there little Novas locked into bubbles? And they're still alive. That seems... I don't know. Maybe they nest in the bubbles. Okay. We have this special looking door here. Oh, look at that. I will definitely gladly take that, and there's obviously something else hiding in here. So, hooray for wave beam. Phew, that's not... Give me your secrets. This is... Interesting. Well, I got wave beam, but that room was teasing greater things. Although, I can't complain with wave beam. Nor that stupid claw grabby guy. So, we've got... Through Norfair, we've got... Wave, ice... Well, actually, ice wave, but... Some missiles. And... I th don't know what else there is to do in Norfair. There's not much. Ow. Ouch. Let's just jump on spikes. So open those. Get rid of all these blocks. Open the gates. Yeah, see, you can't make that jump, so to prevent people having to infinite bomb jump, just simply ride this guy across. So in a way, it's a convenience, so you don't have to infinite bomb jump, which is a good thing. Requiring that's not good, even though I don't consider it really that hard to do. It's not something that's a good thing to require of the player. Get back here. Thank you. And look at that right to it. So that's actually pretty well done. I kind of like that. Now that we have wave beam, enemies will... Um get frozen. Thank you. We'll just... We'll leave it at that before I say something else, too. <laughs> so, Norfair, Norfair, Norfair. 
See, there's just... Oh, it's back here. Oh. Thank you. Generally, when I jump toward a frozen enemy, I want to get on it, not into lava. Oh, this room. Oh, no, I didn't go anywhere. I need power bombs. So, Norfair seems like it's pretty well taken care of, I guess. I don't... I guess maybe I'm supposed to be going somewhere else. That's suspicious. And it is. I just can't do anything about it right now. Because that would be convenient, I guess. That's another nice thing so far is that... Well, I've been having a pretty straightforward time getting places so far. There's still plenty of things I have to return to. I just saved you, stupid game. I have to return to plenty of places with power bombs, at least, because I don't have them yet. So I have more stuff to discover later. <laughs> Back around we go. This ouch. This room with I don't know this I do not think that should exist. But this I'm not making this so I'll live with it I guess. But crumble blocks over spikes is pretty mean. And you never know when this will come in handy. But yeah, don't put crumble blocks over spikes, please. That's... That's just outright being mean to the player. <laughs> can't run through enemies. So back up around. So yeah, I don't know what else there's to do here. Um, I guess I'll have to look around some other places. Figuring out where I'm going. So now this has been Change slightly. It's not like it was in the beginning where it was so linear, everything led right to the next thing. So now it's more open ended, gives the player more freedom. They can look around and just find stuff. And try not to die on spikes because that's not good. over here. So back up the ripper ladder or whatever you want to call it. I don't know, I guess technically it's a ladder kind of. Don't follow me. One of the nice things with the Super Metroid engine compared to the original Metroid engine is the little bugs and or enemies in general when you go through a door they don't stop in super but they slow down until the room fades out whereas in the original they just kept going the same speed so in the original while you were in doorways I didn't have to do that there was a waiting wait but in the original while you were in the doorway and unable to move or do anything, the enemies could come full speed and hit you while you're in the door. And that actually killed me a couple times, because enemies flew through, hit me while I was in the door, and I died during the door transition. Super Metroid, they can still do that, but they slow way down. And so it can happen, but it's not likely to happen. <laughs> Back we go. 
Oh, so where have I been? It's Kraid down there. I still have not beat a major boss yet. I've I can't be entirely sure, but I'm pretty sure Kraid would be first. And there's some things I have a couple rooms I haven't been able to get to yet. So this might be a very good time to get to them. Probably have to. Ouch. That's the neat thing about Metroid 2 is... Uh, While well, there's generally a set path, like in Super there's a set path. I mean you can break that completely, but there is a set path. And you're kind of pushed along that a little bit. You generally know where it is and what you have to do. But there's like breaks between doing all the stuff you have to do and times when you can go around searching for items and collecting stuff. And so that's pretty cool how you, through the game, it kind of nudges you along the right path, but it also gives you plenty of. I mean, you can go searching whenever, but obviously better when you have more items. But you always kind of know where the main path is. And this is going to be an absolute pain to get out of. That's... Oh, shoot. <laughs> shoot. That... This isn't going to work very well, is it? This is not going to work very well. Ouch. Now, if I jump into spikes, it's not. Why did you do this? How am I supposed... That's a... Nope. That didn't work. Oh, boy. That, ouch. That, yeah, let's jump into more spikes while we're at it. So, um... Ouch. Then that's even a crumble bridge. I don't think I'm supposed to get back this way. Maybe I'm supposed to have gravity suit when I get back. Making it this way is ridiculous. So, I guess I got that big room to finish exploring. I don't, why did why did I not finish that? I guess we'll find out. So, around we go. This time, although, we have Ice Beam. And Ice Beam makes Rippers freezeable. And Frozen Rippers are impatient. Oh, I can probably freeze these stupid respawning enemies. That way I can grab whatever's up here. Yeah, come on. That's not freezing them at all. <laughs> I guess come back with space jump or something. Screw attack. Screw attack would be useful for that. Oh. This room. I remember this room. I almost died in this room. Because spikes. Whee. Oh. Good night. Mm, ouch. I know I can do this. Come on. Are ready for more sequence breaking? I have a feeling I should have grapple by now. Everywhere I'm going coming up grapple blocks. Well, it feels like it's coming up grapple blocks. And that's a missile. And those are lettuce leaves, which are relentlessly attacking me. So... Speed booster, how did I know? Um, 
missile. What do we have here? This is interesting. Not a little weird. No, oh, here we go. Get rid of these pumpkins. Oh, why is this a spike pit? Okay. Crumble blocks, really? You have crumble blocks. Crumble blocks. So, I'm guessing I'm so. If I fall down here, this is my way back. So, the question becomes how do I get up there? I don't know what else the question would be. Unless I do it this way. But this is probably... Combo blocks. Well, it's not that way. Hi, lettuce leaf. Ouch. Okay, so... Come back from up top, I guess. For that room. Find grapple soon, hopefully. Grapple's a very nice beam to have. So, it's so p powerful. I mean, it really, it's overpowered. It's a one-hit KO on a lot of enemies. You can even fry a boss with it. And my map says that... Oh, yeah, I have been here. That was the first missile. So, what do we have back here? A save station. Well, I can use it. Where else am I supposed to go? How am I supposed to get back? I mean, well, there's this super missile gate, but... Oh, what? Oh. Oh. Well... That's interesting. Maybe I... Fall. This got to be another room the other side of the safe station somewhere, so... I'll find that eventually. Figure out whatever else is back there. However, I can... You... Okay. I get around... by going through the gate... Then I can explore around in Criteria, see what else I can grab. Through that, past the little wonderful item pedestal. Past the statue that didn't like me grabbing the morph ball. Although I guess it's probably more supposed to be like a security system. Grab something that activates and then everything knows there's a bad evil item stealer on the planet. So it's speed boost, I think. So that's not what I'm looking for. I'm running into speed boost, I'm running into power bombs, I'm running into grapple stuff. So it's a safe bet to say one of those is my next item. Next upgrade anyway. My next item could be a missile or an energy tank or something. If you want to get really technical about it. <sighs> Gamer. Gamer. Scree. What else was this way? What was hiding back here? Oh, this was the missile room. Okay. What's back here? Absolutely nothing. Not even power bomb blocks. 
but this looks like absolutely nothing. So, I guess back here is pretty much done. That's an interesting thing to add in the background. The weird little pillars. Well, I guess it's not really a little pillar, but... So, back up the criteria. What else do we have to grab in here? Space pirates. This room just reeks of secrets. I mean, yeah, it's the space pirates and stuff that unlock the door, but... You get... It's a special background in here. <laughs> Stupid squeaky chair. Um, but around there's these other regular Super Metroid backers, and then that room has the Zero Mission background. It's like, why in the world does it have that? I mean, not that it looks bad, it just stands out as something weird and special. Still locked. There's actually a couple things that door could be. Could be a exit only for an item room like it was in the original. Or it could be part of the escape. Oh, what was that way? And then I got that thing. Oh. This was the power bomb thing, wasn't it? I don't need to worry about that. I need power bombs for it. <laughs> Back around, see if there's anything hidden up here. You never know. Because sometimes items just aren't marked by dots on the map. And this was bombs. You see, like this room, it had a boss in it and it has the zero mission background. Why does the other room have a zero mission background? Why is it made to stand out? So, I guess I got that. That one room had a vaping gate, it had that unexplored little arm to it. So I can check that now. Get past these key hunters. No. Get out of my way. Okay. Onwards. And this room no longer has eyes in it. Unfortunately, placed eyes with enemies. Although, I guess lettuce leaves are in here, so it's not too bad. Yeah. And there's no water drops in here. I guess if those are only, like, one-off things, that would kind of make, when you see them, kind of stand out more because they're not all over the place. I guess that's why like bosses are generally easier remembered than rooms because bosses are generally one off. You fight the boss, you destroy it, it's gone, it's not there anymore. There's stuff up. There's a little arm behind the wave gate. rippers this way and these weird rocks like disease color or something and ripper so where is this that's over here so I guess we are making some more progress here get out of here I don't like space pirates in the way Oh, and a block. No, 
I guess he has a weird slope there or something. And more water. Because water is everybody's favorite. But at least it's not in Norfair. And this is the room I've been in before. I have totally been in here. This was the energy tank. Oh, maybe I can get up there. And I didn't finish exploring that. I don't think I had... I don't know what I had when I went there. So maybe the wreck ship? Maybe I have to grab grapple in there. Or speed boost. Or power bombs. Who knows? That's actually kind of a nice thing about hacks. Is that you don't know exactly what's all going on. I mean, you don't know what's coming up. I mean, in this, I would say it's pretty obvious where the bosses are. Get down here. And I'm, I'm positive all the bosses are in the same areas. But I don't know which one I'm going to fight first. I could end up fighting Ridley first, for all I know. So that's the nice thing about Hex. You know, oftentimes hacks will put bosses in completely different areas, so you run into them in really weird places. And so you just kind of go along not knowing what to expect. Another thing they do with them, which isn't always a good thing, is you will run into them randomly. I mean, you, they're not exactly marked like the original. Because the original, you knew the next room was going to be a boss room. Not so much in Hex. In the original, they had like the eye doors and those little eye ground pieces. Little spiky shell eye pieces, ground pieces around the door. And you knew, well, what's next is going to be a boss. You don't see that at all <laughs> in Hex pretty much ever okay yeah that's why I didn't explore the rest of this I didn't have ice so now I can freeze these get over here okay good I was almost worried that was a power bomb block oh jeez why did I freeze you here I'm an idiot. There's two Reapers in a row in a really dumb place. Hmm. So what do we have hanging out here? More... Ouch. Water. High ruse. I wonder if there's actually another name for these things. Now, I know people know them as the most annoying thing in my hack, but... Oh, well. Oh, missile. So... Interesting. Ouch. <laughs> what are we... Refill bugs. Oh no. <laughs> oh. Okay. Um. I'm not going to the wreck ship yet, apparently. That's good to know. So I. Hmm. Interesting. And actually, I've gone up over a half hour again, so we will end the video off here. Thank you for watching. Hopefully we'll see you for part number six, where we explore some more.